Well, it's finally spring, and I only mention that because we have a lot of listeners in the northeastern U.S. that probably haven't noticed that yet. But here in all the other parts of the world, the flowers are blooming, the temperatures are rising, and the beaches are filling up with the joyous perambles of cirrhosis of the liver. That's right, the drunken buffoonery of spring break is upon us once again, and that makes the folks at Fox News nervous. So, motivated by their genuine concern, and not at all by the fact that spring break stories are always accompanied by videos of scantily clad tits, they're running around the clock stories to keep all the spring breakers safe. And as near as I can tell, their advice is A, don't go to spring break, B, if you must go, make sure you bring a penis, C, if you cannot or will not provide a penis, make sure you wear clothes at all times. And D, if you get raped, it's probably because you were ignoring A through C. Take Gavin McInnes, for example. While appearing on Sean Hannity's show, McInnes explained that spring break is no place for women since they're too weak and can't handle their alcohol. And as we all know, when women get raped, the true culprit isn't the rapist, it's the liberals. That's right. According to McInnes, this stupid lie of equality leaves women thinking that they can bench press as much as a man, so it gives them a false sense of having the right to bodily autonomy. And strangely enough, the women on the show didn't take issue with that, but when he suggested that women can't hold their liquor, they got livid. Priorities, ladies, come on. Yes, I'm sure you can drink that asshole under the table, but let's focus on the rape apologetics first and foremost, eh? Thanks. Which is why host Andrea Tantaros decided to focus on the real victims of rape, the people who definitely didn't get raped. While discussing the president's call to reform the way American campuses deal with rape allegations, Tantaros explained that rape accusations are just a feminist conspiracy to, well, she didn't really get into what purpose it would serve feminists to have a lot of rape accusations, but it's Fox News. So I imagine that she assumes we would need suffering the way vampires need blood. Anyway, in a statement that seemed like an audition for this segment, she said, quote, I'm going to speak slowly here so all the feminist blogs can get this one. There is a war happening on boys on these college campuses, end quote. Now, keep in mind that this is the same genius that suggested that Snow was an anti-religious conspiracy to kill Jesus that Noah and Heath reported on earlier. So apparently, after we got done inventing snow, we invented rape so that we would have a reason to run all the men out of college. And once the men were too stupid to resist, we could finally start our secret vaginocracy. And I have to say, I'm so pissed that she's foiled our plans yet again. The flag for vagina stand was so awesome. It whistled and everything. But I guess we'll have to delay our revolution by a few more years after all. So while I try to figure out a way around this latest hurdle, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath. 